Hey, welcome to Crown Point Customs. Today I just kind of, um, I'm making sheaths for uh, these knives here. And then, uh, yeah, just getting creative with the designs. And then I have these I'm gonna work on. This is a, a customer order right here. This is one of my first hatchets, axes, whatever. I think I'm gonna knock the handle off this one. I don't really like it. And then uh, I should be heat treating these. It's a big day. There's a couple Damascus. Those are gonna be buck skinners for, for um, a couple hunters, friends of mine. But yeah, man, start the grinder, start ripping. So I got all these sheets pressed. I got some uh, detail action going on, some two-tone. Uh, just still shaping them up, um, polishing down the edges. So now I just smoothed out all the edges and uh, I got my um, radius tool uh, on here and I'm gonna start doing the finger grooves in the uh, Kydex. Still shaping. I gotta move on to the, the clips. So I'll start working on the belt clips. All right, so now I'm doing, um, I'm putting the belt clips on the knives right now. Uh, usually what I use are, um, I, I put them on the police knives and when I make gun holsters, I use these clips as well. So they're good enough for guns, they're good enough for my knives. And then I make a little standoff piece, kind of like a bracket, like if you're mounting something to your hot rod. I make a bracket to kind of stand off and yeah, there you go. Measure it, one and a half inch belt and All right, so you guys watch me uh, working these clips and the standoffs. Um, it's pretty repetitious. I'm not going to bore you with the with the rest of it. Um, you'll see the finished product coming up. Uh, I'm just going to keep plugging away at this. So as I'm working these clips on these knives here, they're almost done. Um, I'm going to start heat treating these two right here, these two buck skinners, and they're they're multi layer Damascus. So that's what's next up on the list. So I'm going to go heat. I'm going to go start my heat treat oven. Yeah, the heat treat those two buck skinners are actual Damascus, the multi-layer. It's actually a lot easier than the Owen tool steel I'm used to. 
because instead of having them in and preheating them and then um, getting them up to temperature, I just, once it's up to temperature, I let them soak for, well, I think, two minutes at temperature and then I just, that's it. Sink them in the oil and then temper them. That's it. Now it's a waiting game. So I got the buck skinners in the oven right now. They're, um, they're heating up. I got a couple minutes before they're ready to quench. Uh, I'm pretty much just gonna pick up on these, put the clips on these, tune in later. And then you can see how these ones turned out. Did you hear that? It's like it sucked in. Come here, Lou. Come on, Lou. Lucinda. Big Lou. You're gonna shit there, aren't you? Come here. Come on. Come here, Lou. Just leave her. You touch. See? Told you. Because she's a puppy and she piddles when you touch her. She gets excited and. She, now she's sweet. Now she'll be sweet. And she pissed. Mm -hmm. All right, temper for an hour, ready? Smells like french fries. I'm hungry now. I don't feel nothing, so it's always a good sign. That's a wrap. All right, so I actually just got done heat treating so I got to the heat treat on the two uh, skinners I heat treated them quenched them and now they're tempering for another hour um, I didn't get to the axis today but uh, tune back in see how they turned out and um, yeah thanks for watching